again, a, a broader question that I have no answer to. But here we are in the creative community, here you are doing film and television and writing whatever and producing whatever. And here we are in a world of cri uh, climate chaos. That we have never seen this before. I we have know. never, this has never been near the human story before. Yeah, we wrote about it in the Bible, Noah's Ark, the locust, yeah, yeah. But we've never had this human story before and we're storytellers. Can we do anything? Or should we not do anything? How do we address the shifting story beneath us that has never appeared before in the work that we do? Not that we should make every play about climate change, I don't mean that. But you know what I mean? How can we not, in a way, address the shifting story for the first time in our history? That's the question I've been, I've been, that's been going through my head all the time. And that's why, basically, I'm, because I, for a bunch of years, the last bunch of years, I basically went, I, I, I'm not writing anymore. I'm not writing anymore. Because I had stopped writing for a bunch of reasons. But now I'm like, I have to write. I have to create. Because we have to, we have to, we have to address it in the work now. I had a friend who said that she felt like her practice was like the musicians on the Titanic, where they realized, the musicians realized that there weren't enough lifeboats. And they basically collectively decided that, um, the best they could do was to play as all the lifeboats were being, because all the lifeboats were gone, they weren't on them, and they would just play music until, until it sang. And she felt, she said that that's how she felt about her practice. She was just going to keep making art until the end. But that she felt that she didn't have enough agency to do anything beyond make her art and to, to bring whatever light um, to those who were there at the end. What do you feel? I feel kind of like that, but I'm trying to figure out, because I don't think, I th we have a bit of time if we can move really, really quickly. But one of the things that has gone through my head is that even if we as a species fail to address climate change, that human beings will survive for our time in a period of great turmoil. I'm afraid that's what may happen. But if that happens, our children are going to be in a pl on a planet where, where there's refugees and war um, it, and um, great injustice unless we're able to at least mobilize. What are the obstacles to addressing climate change? The obstacles to addressing climate change are people with power who don't want to relinquish it right now for the greater good of the, of, of the planet. There, are, there is more than enough money and manpower to address this problem right now and to solve it for the entire planet, but it requires a group of about 200 multi-billionaires to be brought down and their resources, which are really public resources that they've stolen, put back into research, development, um, and a massive infrastructure change on a public level. That's what has to happen in, and people keep saying 10 years, people have been saying 10 years now for 15 years. We've got like eight years, right? If we're not successful, If we're not successful, then in a hundred years we won't recognize the planet, and we won't recognize the institutions that are on it. And um, so, I feel like, as an artist, I'm trying to figure out: is there an avenue or venue? Um, is there a work I can create that can contribute to people having the courage and strength to take action, or having the courage and strength to to hold up and protect the people who are taking action? Because that's we don't all have to be on the front lines, right? We, you know what I mean? So I don't know. I, I mean, it's just, it's the biggest thing, the, the biggest impediment to this kind of change is going to be despair. So anything that will protect us from despair is good. Um, there's, I don't know. I don't know the answer to this question, but it's it's the only one that's worth asking right now as an artist. It's the only one that's worth asking. Thank you. Thank you.